My name is Savannah and this is Safari Savvy. We've got our newest animal ambassador here. This is our Patagonian Cavi, also known as a Patagonian Mara, or my favorite name is a Patagonian Dillaby. He reminds me a lot of a wallaby. This guy, his name is Bambi, and Bambi is five and a half weeks old. Bambi's kind of suckling on my finger here. I think Bambi wants a bottle. So Patagonian Cavi, is actually the fourth largest rodent in the world. They could get 20 to 30 pounds and they live about 12 years in captivity. They actually are the longest nursing rodent. They uh, are one of the longest nursing rodents. They'll actually nurse for up to 75 days. So he is still drinking a bottle about three times a day. Uh, it's basically up to him at this point. He'll have about one to two of these little bottles a day. And you see he puts his little paws up. These guys come from Patagonia. They're found in Argentina, Central Argentina, and Southern Argentina. These guys are um, monogamous, so they'd actually mate for life, which is pretty interesting. The males will guard the females, so they kind of just follow the females all around. These guys are herbivores, so they're going to be uh, always looking for grass, they like herbs, they eat flowers, they eat a little bit of fruit. Um, being monogamous, they mate for life, and they actually like to burrow in, uh, in caves. And when they live in caves, they can actually live with multiple adults in one cave. But because the males are so territorial, only one pair of cavies will actually be in the cave at a time. The babies will actually all be down there, so the mothers won't know exactly which cavy to nurse, uh, except by the sound that they make the smells that they have, and the size and shape of the cavi. These guys are actually related to guinea pigs, and so they make a lot of squeaks that guinea pigs make. So Patagonian cavies will get about full size around six months old, and at full size they can run about 20 miles an hour and they can jump six feet high. So these don't make a great house pet, they're actually one that you need a permit for. Um, he has a big outdoor enclosure he'll be moved to as soon as he's done nursing, and he'll actually live with guinea pigs. They're very social animals, so they need a lot of social interaction. Um, to thrive. Uh, they do have long legs, that's how they can run and jump so fast and high. But this also uh, presents a um a situation for them to get injured easily. Because of their long spindly legs, they're known for leg injuries, so they can actually bring, break or sprain their legs pretty easily. Pretty cute drinking his bottle. Patagonian cavies are monogamous and the males will actually follow around the females and guard them. Males are not friendly with each other and tend to fight. These guys protect their offspring and their females by guarding the den that they live in. Up to 12 pair of cavies can actually live in the den, but none of them will enter at the same time. Only single pairs of cavies will enter the den to take care of their babies.
I'm Savannah and this is Bambi and thank you for watching Safari Savvy. Follow us for more amazing animal content.